assalamu alaikum um hey guys it's me salam sabi it's like um i've been having a few things on my mind and one advice i can give sisters wholeheartedly if a brother is shows um interest in marrying you you need to cut the chit chatting you know off to eventually let him know okay cool you seem to like me I like you okay cool but you need to put that wall up when it's time for him to decide where he can take it men and women cannot be friends in Islam I'm sorry but men and women in general cannot be friends unless there is no attraction whatsoever and sometimes even when there is no attraction things can still happen so all I'm saying is that brother has shown that he wants to marry you that's great but now the wall needs to come up and the Wally and Wakel need to take it from there I mean sisters for a lot of us is very flattering when a man comes up and he wants to marry you or he shows some type of interest in getting to know you and trying to see if you're his potential wife what I dislike is when brothers are trying to do things in the westernized way and they're trying to chit chat with you a lot they're trying to send you personal messages on your social network and they're asking too many questions too many questions that you don't have to answer look you've told me that you're interested okay here's my Wally here's my Wakel have a nice day let's meet up you know speak and see where this is going I think the prophet said may peace and blessings be upon him that there's three things you you should do with someone before you marry them so I don't remember I think one of them was to travel I don't remember what the other two was so um but basically a lot of us sisters have never really been exposed to men outside of our f families and so when we start getting attention from men we sometimes lose our minds especially on these chat lines and my best advice on these chat lines is to these Islamic chat lines these dating sites is to cut the brother off from the very beginning hello sister hello blah 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 whatever really you shouldn't even be on a chat line your Wakel or Wally should be helping you um, you need to cut him off as quickly as possible once he shows interest in you you need to give him okay don't give him your number don't give him your email here's the number to my Wally or my Wakel and here's an email however he can contact that third party and you step back you'll realize a lot of dudes are not that serious <laughs> I've done this okay I've not online but someone on Facebook was kind of constantly sending me messages and so finally and the thing is I don't have a Wally or Wakel my dad is a Muslim but um, of course he would want to meet you know whoever I was going to marry but um, I basically gave him the number to my father's job and of course I didn't hear from him for uh, a few weeks and he kind of sent me back another message like oh hey how are you and of course I didn't respond and then um, some other and another thing sisters he may send you a message whatever oh sister mashallah I'm coming into town I want to meet you okay that's another trap um now no Muslim is perfect 
there's been a lot of people who did not do it the permissible way and they got married but of course I think it's always best to try your hardest to do it in the way that that it was set up to be done you know for our protection if a guy is coming into town and he wants to meet you that's perfectly fine but he needs to meet you along with your father and along with whoever else is a male who is here to protect you and to weed out whoever is a loser he needs he's there to protect you you know I would say respond back and say oh alhamdulillah that that's wonderful if you would like to meet up I can get my Wally or my Wakel to sit in for the both of us so you'll see how serious he is if his response is slow if he takes a while to respond you you basically know he's not serious um having been a revert of course I've dated um, so I know how it's like so I'm not inexperienced I mean I have experiences with life I'm not like some Muslim women who are very protected so and I guess having some of those life experiences it's helped me cut people off real quick who I know are not serious like if you're not serious I'm not going to be serious with you and I don't know why but sometimes there's this assumption that if you're a, a revert then that means that you're easy or before you became Muslim you were promiscuous I mean there's just all types of these stereotypes that, that are not always true so just sisters cut it off real quick you know if a dude is kind of like sending you mixed messages you need to make it clear okay that's great here's the number to so and so and so and so contact me when you're ready to discuss further plans after that leave it be you know don't play these silly games you know there's a lot of Muslim men who marry non-Muslim women and sometimes I feel it's so they can go around the whole process of having to go through a third party so they didn't have to have a background check they didn't have we didn't have to check to see if they have good character they basically found most of the time a Christian woman and married her and had an easy time which I think is just absolutely ridiculous ridiculous because if you can't stand up and be a man and prove who you are then how can you raise another Muslim girl to pick her husband when you kind of ran away now each situation is different you may have met a sister who wasn't Muslim and you fell you know uh, in love with her fine but I'm seeing it more and more where brothers are choosing to not they don't want to sit down and have people ask them too many questions especially if you have skeletons in your closet they don't want to be asked and that's just to me that that's telling me that you have things that you need to work on before you get married and it's just it's kind of trifling to try to go around it and and as sisters we need to have respect for ourselves and sometimes doing the right thing is the hardest thing nobody wants to be alone everybody wants to be married but if a brother loves Allah and he loves his religion he will come at you in the Islamic way he will not try to go around because once he's going around he's showing that he has no respect for you or how Allah has made it so for your really for both of your protection so my best advice is cut him off real quick give him do not try to go deep into conversation let him know okay cool here's my Wally here's my 
what call me back here